many people are familiar, with the dream King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, had nearly 2630 years ago. The king awoke but, could not remember what he dreamed. As the story goes, Daniel, the prophet brought forth the dream and the interpretation of it. The king saw an image with a head of gold. It also had a chest, and arms of silver, and belly and thighs of brass, it had shins of iron, and feet and toes of iron mixed with clay. The king saw a small stone, cut out of a mountain, come down, and strike this statue on its feet and toes of iron and clay. The image fell and crumbled, and then the stone ground the image, into powder like chaff on the summer threshing floor. Then a strong wind came and blew all the chaff away. After that, the stone transformed itself, into a great mountain that filled the whole, earth. This was the dream. Daniel explained to Nebuchadnezzar that, the head of gold was the kingdom of Babylon, and it lasted seventy years. It was followed by an inferior kingdom of silver, which turned out to be the Medes, and the Persians, and their sovereignty lasted 228 years. The third kingdom turned out, to be Alexander the Great's Macedonian conquest, of the ancient Near East and it had authority over the Jews for 170 years. In 141 BC, in the 170th year of the Greeks, 1 Maccabees 1341-42, the Jews founded their own principality a full 110 years before the Romans became an empire. To this day the holiday of Hanukkah celebrates victories the Jews won against the Greeks although many say, it was the Romans who represented the Fourth Kingdom. So. Is this Roman Fourth Kingdom idea really true? The ultimate guide to atavist eschatology explores this question, and argues that Judas the Maccabee and the Hasmoneans actually established the Fourth Kingdom. From this perspective, the Bible prophecy timeline leads directly into the New Testament, and makes the best sense of their expectations because, even a casual reading shows they anticipated events, to happen, to the Fourth Kingdom, were very near rather than very far. Matthew 10:23, Matthew 21:43 to 44 cf. Matthew 24:29 to 34. This invites serious questions and an investigation because it is a known fact that Jesus, the apostles and the first Christians believed the second coming, judgment, and end of the fourth kingdom were soon to come in their days. However, we are taught that these things never materialized and we are taught that these events failed to happen. Could we be wrong, about this? There is also another issue we wish to address. Can it be that the, image was broken, and crushed by the stone but, that same stone will also fall down and strike the mountain in the future? However, that is not a part of the king's dream at all. But it is the essence of believing Jesus will come in the future, to end the kingdom of God on earth. The ultimate guide to atavist eschatology challenges this conception and we believe this study will be of deep interest, to Christians everywhere. Order your copy directly from www.tativistbiblechurch.org and join this important conversation today.